Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to the return of the Show Us Your Sheetload slash Happy Mail series here on my channel. I hope you'll stick around and see what came in my P.O. box this month. As I mentioned in this month's channel update video, which I will have linked in the description box below, two series are returning to the channel. One was yesterday's Sheetload Rewind video, and the second is today's video, which is my monthly Show Us Your Sheetload slash Happy Mail video. This is when I stop by once at the end of each month and show you what I've received in my P.O. box. Sometimes these will be sheet load cards, and other times they're cards just because. If you ever want to send me a card, my P.O. box address is always at the bottom of the description box. I also had a video earlier this month explaining the updated guidelines to show us your sheet load. Now, if you share online, not much changed. But if you are going to send in a card, there were some changes, the biggest of which was please only send in a single card using the current month's sheet load, or a single card just because. Now, as we get caught up to everybody finding out about the guidelines, you might see a card from past months, or if when I went to pick it up, the card hadn't gotten in the mailbox yet from a previous month, then you'll also see those as well. But because I no longer have a source to give all of the beautiful blank cards you send me, I do have to limit it to just that single one and maybe tell me a fun fact about yourself in your card or just say hi. I will have the updated guidelines video linked in the description box below and I'll put it as a card up in the corner now. I've definitely missed this series so let's go ahead and get to opening my mail. Up first is a card from my friend Lynn of the LV Handcrafted YouTube channel. I think I spy some not too shabby products here. I just love the fun colors and that cute little cup of cocoa. If you don't already subscribe to Lynn's channel, I hope that you'll do that. She is the mastermind behind the recent collaboration with Cards by Kendra. She helped set that up and arrange everything. Thanks so much, Lynn. Up next is another card from one of my crafty friends, and that is from Teresa of the Fresh and Renewed with Teresa channel. I also think I spy some not too shabby products on her card. I just love that adorable little penguin. Susie N from Iowa sent me this very cute card. She has used the latest sheet load of cards January 2024 for the layout. If you haven't yet downloaded it, make sure to check out my links in the description box below. June Ellen of Texas has been a longtime supporter and subscriber to my channel, and she sent me this beautiful card for Christmas. Sandra J. from Washington sent me this beautiful New Year's card, which makes sure to stick around to see how it's a fun fold. But inside was a wonderful note, some paper pumpkin glue dots, which you know I love to use those, and an extra special gift. Sandra, thank you so much for everything. I read the note to my daughter and we both teared up. I will definitely make sure to pay part of your gift forward. Brenda G of Utah also sent me a New Year's card. I love those papers, especially that star one. And I believe this layout is from my very first Card Maker Success Summit sheet load. Up next is a card from my friend Jay of the Craft by Jay channel here on YouTube. He has sent me a nice holiday card. I love that background stamping and those kind of bronzy die cut leaves. Up next is a card from Melissa of Missouri. She said she's been a long time viewer, but this is her first time sending in a card. She has used the January 2024 sheet load printable for this get well card. She also has a YouTube channel and just celebrated a thousand subscribers. I went to check her out and I definitely hit that subscribe button. I hope you'll go do the same. 
Yvonne K. from Wisconsin also used the January 2024 sheet load and she created this beautiful hello card. I always love butterflies and florals when card making. Thank you, Yvonne. I think now you might know why this is one of my most favorite videos of the month. I love to see your beautiful creations and get your kind notes. Thanks so much for everyone who took the time to send in a card and note. And don't forget, if you want to do the same, check out the guidelines video in the description box below. Until my next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.